it's a quick demo on how to use uh, Request T with Open Web UI. Um, the goal is that you can use any model available on Request T on Open Web UI. Uh, let me start Open Web UI quickly. Uh, there we go. So basically, when you go to Request T, you sign up to our platform, you'll come through this onboarding, uh, you'll just click on Open Web UI. So what's really important is that here we go. We have our server in Open Web UI. Um, let's sign in actually. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the admin panel. Uh, and then we're gonna go to settings. And once we're in settings, we're gonna go to connections. Now, what's really important is what you're gonna see here is, this is basically the URL we're gonna need to put in, in the OpenAI uh, API connection. So if we're gonna go to configure, I'm gonna go here and we just copy and paste. Now it requires a key. Now we're gonna come here and create an open web UI API key from request uh, Don't worry, I will delete this key after this uh, video. But if I paste it here and I just click save, it says open AI settings updated. Now I can go to a new chat and automatically all of the models that are supported in request C will be available here. So if I just want to use O3 Mini uh, from OpenAI, I can just go here and say, who is Napoleon, for example, uh, and it should give me an answer on who Napoleon is. And here we go. And it works out of the box. So now we can go back to request D and we can manage API keys and we can see our API key right here. Uh, you can enable or disable logging, but what's really interesting is that you can monitor your costs over time so you can see which models you're using, how much it's costing for you. Uh, and um, yeah, overall just uh, use one platform to access 150 different models.